Uh, this is a cracking little shoot 'em up on the on the PlayStation Vita that has been made available on the uh, Japanese PlayStation Network store for a few weeks now, I think. Um, I think you'd be pretty surprised to hear that it that uh, there is a shooter out for uh, the PlayStation Vita. I'm not sure whether it's actually available on retail yet in Japan. Um, or even what the release is like for uh, the UK and the US. Um, as regards to uh, the actual release date, whether it's something that's only uh, going to be available on PSN or not, I don't know. But I just thought I'd show you guys what the game looks like. Um, I've had a quick play with it and it is pretty, pretty addictive. As with most of these gameplay videos that I do on the PlayStation V3, it is pretty much virtually impossible for me to actually show you any decent gameplay as regards to my skills because of the way that I'm trying to film this. So, so just bear with me. I've had a few, a few comments on some of the other videos I've put up gameplay stuff on PlayStation Vita. So with regards to the previous Wipeout one to say, God, you suck. Uh, believe me, I'm nowhere near as bad as that when I'm actually holding the PlayStation Vita correctly. I'm not filming myself at the same time, but anyway, so just bear with me on that. As you can see here by the track sequence, uh, basically what you've got, you've got a spaceship in the middle of the screen that you can probably just about make out there, everything going on, and you uh, rotate around a planet, and around that planet you have asteroids that you need to shoot at, and once you shoot at asteroids, uh, you obviously blow them up, which is what you've got to do, you've got to try and clear the asteroids, but you get certain power-ups, and uh, within each asteroid you have a green, a green part of the asteroid, and when you hit that, you get some form of power-ups and it gets absolutely manic the further you get into the game and like I said I've only played it a couple of times but it, it was really really addictive and it looks absolutely great plays great sounds great it's yeah it's a real good game to be honest so so let's see what we can find out what we can actually show you so we'll just play a normal a normal game and we'll play the arcade version So here you're choosing uh, the various mode. Um, we'll just go for pure. We'll go for normal. And this is the ship that you choose, I think. I think it's a ship. Fairly straightforward uh, control method. Uh, you've got move. You've got a boost button, and again, this is going to be fairly difficult to actually play this, I'm going to be honest, because of the way I'm holding it again. Um, uh, basically, got a boost button at the uh, top left uh, shoulder. Uh, top right is to change the weapon. Uh, your X button is to bomb. Shoot is actually uh, controlled uh, via the right hand uh, thumb nub. And that's about it. Uh, quite a cool feature about this is it actually uses the inbuilt PS Vita uh, gyro sensor. So when you move it, the actual background moves. I don't know if you can see, I don't know if I can read. See the background moving? As I'm tilting uh, the PS Vita, I mean that's just, a, that's just a funky little effect really, more than anything. It's not actually used within the game. So. Right, so you control your ship like that, and the actual fire is using the other uh, thumbstick. But we'll change the fire there, you can do that. Uh, your boost button goes like that, so we'll find a... Oh, again, this is going to be interestingly. Sorry, interesting to see how this works with the way I'm holding it. It's not going to be mega dynamic. Right, so I've just picked up some power-ups there by shooting the green part of the asteroid. I mean, this is this is pretty tame. This is at this stage, 
you know, you're only getting into the first level, it, it really does go absolutely ballistic uh, as you go further in the game. It might look really boring like this, but, but trust me. And again, because I can't play it that way with the way that I'm filming it, um, uh, you're not really getting the best out of what the gameplay actually is like, really. But, but we'll see how we can get on. But trust me, I've taken my word for it that it, it it plays really, really well. Oop. As I say, trying to play and keep it in focus at the same time is pretty impossible. She completed that. I mean, certainly for me, assuming that this comes out on the um, on the UK uh, PlayStation Network, this is going to be a day one purchase for me, without a doubt. I can't wait to play the full version of this game. It looks absolutely fantastic. It really does. You know, all these scrolling effects and oh, yeah. Every now and again you seem to get these aliens that just come towards you and you just have to basically just blow the shit out of them by, by rotating your weapon. So I hope that gives you a bit of insight really to the game and, and like I said this, uh, this is definitely a day one purchase for me when uh, the game is released in the UK on PSN. Hope you enjoyed the video, speak to you again soon.